name is Michael Nix. I'm a classical guitarist, a composer, and a teacher. Uh, I work full-time in music, uh, playing concerts, teaching lessons on guitar, banjo, mandolin. I got involved in music uh, first by taking violin lessons in the third grade. Uh, I did that for a couple of years, took some time off to play baseball, and then took some classical piano lessons. And then I heard the Beatles, and I just had to play the guitar. So about seventh grade, I started taking guitar lessons. And I continued with those guitar lessons uh, through the early part of high school. Um, I didn't really think about becoming a professional musician until about my third semester in college. I was studying playwriting, and I discovered that playwrights sell insurance for a living. And I was making a little bit of money uh, playing in uh, folk coffee houses, uh, some finger picking guitar, and a little banjo. And I decided to change my major and go to music school and uh, became a classical guitar major and uh, simultaneously studied in school and studied with uh, some guitar heroes in New York City. So by my junior year, I was in a duo with my teacher and then was asked on the faculty of uh, the music school where I was um, and when I graduated. Um, I began uh, then playing some performances and starting a career as a classical guitar uh, performer. I conceived of the banjo after playing a concert of historical banjos uh, that were lent to me by a collector in Western Massachusetts. Uh, I was doing a study of classical banjo playing, fingerstyle uh, banjo playing, from 1865 to about 1930 and exploring different banjos and different composers. And I came away with the sense that the early banjos just didn't have the punch and didn't have the kind of range of uh, expression that uh, I was looking for uh, as a classical guitarist. It was lacking a bass note, a, a, a way to keep a bass line going or two or three voices going. Usually you keep one going and the hint of a bass. Um, I played bluegrass banjo in a bluegrass band for some 17 years while I was doing my classical guitar career sort of as a fun side line. And so I began thinking, mm, you know, how can I combine the things that I really like and love? So I started thinking of the idea of combining modern materials that would give me the punch. You can see the seven high tension nylon strings like you'd have on the guitar and then this high string here that's, that's uh, set in at the fifth fret like you have on the uh, banjo. Uh, the top, as I, I talked about before, is made of a, a timpani drum head material and I tune that to the pitch of A. Um, very interesting bridge here. Uh, doesn't really look like a footed banjo bridge but more like a, a piece of wood with little cutouts under each string. And this little piece of leather back here tunes the reverb uh, I, I tune this according to a mathematical formula based on the overtone series. So, uh, banjo has this really interesting round sound, somewhat between a, a, a guitar and a banjo and a harp and a lute or whatever you might imagine. So, I'll play a piece that I wrote for this that combines the idea of classical guitar arpeggios with the ringing uh, seventh string and some banjo strumming. Call it Barton Cove.
uh, more interesting performances that, I, that I've done with the uh, banjo are, um, are um, one, a residency that I've done with uh, Shakespeare and Company in Lenox, Massachusetts. They approached me about becoming a, a performer uh, during the summer of 04, although I've continued to do this. But in 04, they asked me to uh, work with the dance company to provide prelude concerts to the plays. So I worked with a dance company setting music that I composed and played on the banjar in Renaissance costume, uh, both solo and with a dance group who were uh, setting uh, or dancing and speaking for sonnets. And so I thought that, you know, what a great way of thinking uh, about the Renaissance aesthetic, the forward back thinking of mod modern music, my music that was composed and played on the banjar, and then staged in Renaissance costume uh, at, at Lenox. So uh, that was a very interesting, uh, that was a very interesting performance. Another interesting use for the banjar is in chamber music, and I've started a group, a trio of musicians, using the banjar with violin and cello. Uh, playing what we call world chamber music. And we've been playing everything from uh, traditional classical fare, Mozart, Haydn, Bach, to uh, jazz, uh, Gershwin, uh, the, uh, typical uh, jazz pieces, uh, Brazilian music, choros, things you might typically play on the guitar, uh, to, um, I guess, uh, classical arrangements of Celtic music, you might call it. And these have been really well received. Uh, this past year we played in uh, all over New England and in New York, New York City, and have been really well received uh, with this, this new band, jar-centric group. So the goals for the next few months include uh, finishing a solo album and finishing an album with the trio, the Pioneer Consort. We're also working on expanding our bookings outside of New England, since this is our first year with the trio performing. Uh, we really marketed to New York and New England, and we'll be expanding to uh, the Southeast, uh, into Canada, and hoping for um, a short European tour in the next 18 months. If people are interested in reaching me for uh, albums, to, to purchase albums, uh, to, for bookings, or to get more information about the Banjar, you can reach me at my website, which is www.nixworks.com. That's N-I-X-W-O-R-K-S.com. You can also get more information about the Pioneer Consort and information on booking the Pioneer Consort at www.pioneerconsort.com.